today we are going to talk about one of the very important reason why you want to move to export so lots of time people have said like SAP has given this solution that okay we are consolidating customer and vendor as business partner but at no point we there is a particular report that can give you more details like I want to see okay how much money I spend uh, uh, to GE General Electric as a customer as well as a vendor okay so suppose I am uh, I make uh, suppose I make um, stuffs for um, uh, for pharmaceutical company okay so General Electric provides me all the so all the oil and other stuffs power related stuff as well as GE also buy stuff from me for GE healthcare so I want to see how much I spend and how much how much bill I can make because they are both as a both a customer as well as vendor. So if we can cut a deal where I can give them at a cheaper price and uh, as a customer and they can cut a deal where I'll gain more means I get a cheaper price as a vendor then it's a win-win because I can charge more to the other customers. So how you can get so in SAP you have you search around you can you cannot find anything so because SAP is let's be honest it's like an ocean it's like it's like a universe okay there's so much stuff there so the the easy way to find is there's a query that i just built so let me show you the query is so let me show you how it looks so this is the million dollar table okay this is the million dollar table or view f i s v underscore b set underscore e okay now there can be other ways of doing it but this is the only way i could find okay uh, so here what you have to do is simple these are the different fields that you have to select okay so co co company code accounting document number fiscal year account type account type is very important because it tells you customer vendor and then the lifnar kunnar you know the you can see how much how much new brand new stuff is there because they couldn't rename this stuff okay. and then there is amount local currency amount in transaction currency taxes clearing date and all so on and so forth okay now here we have done this now in the selections field it's simple company code fiscal year and accounting type now what i'll do is just i'll execute okay once i execute okay and here I'll choose this variant so you might say okay the variant has been chosen so so I'll just put fiscal year this and the account type is K and D K is for vendor D is for customer and if you want you can select materials assets whatever you want okay now I'll just execute boom I get all my records okay so here you might see you cannot have both both populated so one is vendor one is customer so imagine if you have the same vendor number and customer number then it's good if you don't have that relationship as a business partner then it's different okay so here you can see all the stuff so i'll just click on one of these and you can see all these things are there clearing date and all those things are already there so you can see how much useful this is now because you can see so suppose you want to see I don't have much but the same number is there but if the number is the same or suppose you think this 10070 and 10071 is the same part same thing then you can find oh I spent 24 this much amount of money as a as a vendor because I buy from them and this much amount of money for 10070 so what I can do is let me do one thing I'll put a filter and I do suppose let me select let's let me show you what I'm talking about so I spent $288 for this person okay and now uh, how much I spent now what I'll do is here let me put another filter delete the filter okay and now this one which is a different number 
I select I I suppose this is the one I was talking about or this one. I spent seven hundred dollars. So I spend no this is my my customer, right? This is my kunar. This is customer. So so I sell him this much. So can I cut a deal or something? So this is very useful and you can see there are lots of ways you can get it. And this is the this is the way we can get it. Now there's another way you want to do FBL one and FBL five N and all those things. Let me see how much good this record is because what I'm going to do is I'm going to validate what I'm saying and what is actually there. Let me see FBL five N and I put the customer number and I'll probably put all items. Okay, and here I see uh, 440 because there's minus and all those things. So what I'm going to do is here I'll do open items and here also it shows 440 dollars and here it's probably there's more data in 2000 uh, let me, 2014. I ran for this and what is the vendor number I learned for this is the customer number and here I put a filter and here you can see all the numbers 515 so, so here this is as a customer and this is another customer and 440 and here it's a different number seven hundred dollars but if you see all these numbers are matching so that's a good thing but probably this is all items or clear items Click on here. Items doesn't show anything. This been generated. This is cleared item. Then we go to here. We select all items, and here we have 440. For some reason, it's different. But here, do I have any clearing document? So here, but it's if you see all these numbers are there, the document numbers are matching. So if I go here, it brings in all the document numbers. So how many entries are there? So there's a bunch. It's like here we check the numbers. Yeah. So yeah, it has all the entries here. So so it's the the dollars are not matching because it's minus here it doesn't show minus here i think what you probably have to do is probably there is one thing that i didn't do that i have to do probably, is the debit credit indicator so what i'll do is i'll put debit credit indicator here okay so you can see here. What's happening? David credit indicator. Let me bring it here. So, so here is it. So what I can do is I can click on debit credit indicator and it's not selecting that strange. And go here and I'll change it and I'll select this column. I was in display mode. Hell no, that's why it's not working. So now I go to debit credit indicator, and what I'll do is I'll put this up more. Okay, so let me see where is the debit credit indicator. So I'll just put it at the side of the amount, so that would be good for me. Okay, and here, and I'll save it. I'll Execute. Okay. Press enter. 
and now I'll select my variant which was this and I'll put 2019 and what I'll do is I'll select this and here we have the debit credit indicator very important and now what I'll do I'll put set a filter and here I'll just select this number Oops. and I save it and here you can see 700 bucks but if I do a sorting here H and I do a minus on all these things this will come to us to a to the same value that we can think of okay 700 bucks because it's double dip okay now so that that was the way to do it now if I go the same thing I want to do for suppose FPL 1N now just want to show you that this really works okay, FPL 1N now the next one I want to do is uh, I'll click on here I will click on this filter and I delete the filter now what I'll do is I'll put the filter on set filter and here I'll put suppose this this one this is the vendor yeah so this is the vendor now and what I'll do is I'll copy this control Y control C and then we go here and we execute and here you can see 288 288 part on money okay there's it there's we are getting the numbers so this is the way to do it very important thing is this is the table build a query okay the table name is the table the cds view is this one, fisv underscore bsec underscore ev so stay tuned to my channel and happy sap learning